Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this Sunday afternoon. My name is Holly. If you are new here, I make food and fitness content. Guys, it is one week until Christmas. The Christmas countdown is literally on. This is actually going to be my last kind of like chatty chatty video before Christmas. Like my last opportunity to really like speak to you guys before we all go off Christmas. There is a video coming next Wednesday. And you know when it's a midweek video, it's special. So keep your eyes on my channel because it is a very, very big announcement. But this is kind of like the last just sit down and talk to you guys video. And I kept thinking about what I wanted to do this week. And I was like, all I want to do is kind of like sit and have a chat. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. However, we are also in the spirit of Christmas gonna be making some Christmas cookies. <laughs> I can't wait. I went to B&M this morning and I was like, I need these in my life. So we're gonna be making some snowflake biscuits today while we are just chatting about life. I wanna to talk to you guys about Christmas. I wanna to talk to you guys about how to really enjoy your Christmas and kind of get rid of that food guilt and get rid of that kind of like food anxiety that a lot of us get in the lead up to Christmas because I feel like this year for me, I've had a really big turning point in terms of my like mentality towards food and going into this Christmas, I feel so different to the last two Christmases. Even though I was still on the same fitness journey, I feel like I've just had a little bit of a light bulb moment this year and like a lot of realizations around food and around fitness and my friend actually messaged me this morning and was like I feel like you just have found balance and I need that I need a bit of it and gave her a little bit of advice and I thought this is exactly why I do what I do is to try and help you guys also find that so yeah we're gonna be making some snowflake biscuits and chatting about balance just having a little bit of a reflection on the year i am actually going away tomorrow down to london so it's kind of like my birthday celebration but it's also two of my other best friends birthdays as well which is very expensive for everybody else in the group to have to buy us all presents and come on this birthday trip but basically we're going for like a really big birthday celebration so i'm going to take these biscuits down with me so we can all eat them on the coach because there's train strikes so you're not going to be getting down very easily but it's fine positive mental attitude we still get to go so we've got some icing sugar in here and then we've just got some biscuit mix and, oh, guys, love this. A little cookie cutter, how cute. Right, I've got my mix and my water. I just need to add some butter. I did just try and speak while I was doing that and I kind of realized that me making cookies and trying to give out advice at the same time just really isn't gonna work because I'm just not very good at multitasking. So I'm just gonna pop this in first and then while I'm mixing it, I'll talk to you guys because I feel like mixing and talking isn't that difficult, but trying to read, talk and mix and put ingredients in just wasn't happening for me. That's it, wow, okay. And now we just mix that all together. 20 ounces of water, is that it? You would not be able to tell that I have a cooking Instagram page. Baking just isn't really my like strong point. This does say need, so I might have to get my hands in here at some point, but I really want that to be like a last resort. So obviously guys, it is now deep into December. We are heading into Christmas week where trust me, Fitness is not at the forefront of anyone's mind, nor is eating healthy, nor is meal prepping, nor is tracking our calories. And I just literally wanted to come on and just say that that's fine. Like that is so okay, because I know that a lot of us have this really like guilty conscience that kicks in sometimes. And trust me, if you are having thoughts along the lines of, I'm gonna lose all my progress, I'm not driven enough, I'm not doing enough, I'm not achieving enough, I shouldn't have eaten that, I'm being lazy. If you are having any of those thoughts in the back of your head, trust me, we all have them. But I would like to tell you that those are just thoughts, they are not facts. That is just something that your brain is telling you, which if you are getting to this week and thinking, I don't want to work out, I don't want to go to the gym, I actually wanna to go to my work Christmas party and I wanna have a really big hungover day in bed and eat Mackey's, go for it, please just do it, <laughs> honestly. Having a week off at Christmas and prioritizing social occasions or prioritizing eating, I was about to say Yule log. I have never eaten a Yule log in my life. And that was the first thing that came to my head when I thought of Christmas food, like not even cookies, Yule log of all the things. So <laughs> if you guys do just want to take a week and miss some workouts, stop tracking your calories and just enjoy some treats, do it. You should be so proud of everything you've achieved this year and you deserve to go and do all those things. And I will tell you, that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I have just flicked the switch this week. I don't know what it is. It just kind of got to like midweek and I just thought, I don't really want to track my calories. I'm just gonna eat a bit more intuitively, give myself a bit of a break, give myself a bit of a refresh. And then when it comes January, I'm gonna hit it. I know exactly what I need to do to smash my fitness goals, to smash my running goals. And that isn't saying going from all or nothing because I really don't believe in that because I feel like that 
if you have to go all or nothing, then you're being too restrictive in your everyday life. For me, nothing is really drastically changing. I'm just being a bit more relaxed. However, I'm still intuitively hitting my protein goals. I'm still probably hitting roughly the same calories. I'm working out if I want to work out. But the truth is, if I don't want to go to the gym and I want to prioritize going to the shopping center with my friends like I did last night, I'm gonna do that because this is the time of year to do it. And if you are 100%, 100% of the time, that's not healthy and you have not got balance and you need to have balance in order to make your fitness goals and your fitness journey sustainable so you need to give yourself a bit of a break and a bit of time off so so that is basically in a nutshell kind of the message that i wanted to come on and say i'm gonna have to put my hands in this aren't i it's just not really happening i hate mashing things with my hands i just guess the reason i wanted to come on and say that was because i didn't really feel like in the beginning of my fitness journey i saw anyone kind of saying that and i feel like the fitness space is a lot more positive now and people definitely understand balance a lot more but when i got into fitness it wasn't really like that i remember the first year of my fitness journey when i had my instagram this was kind of before it took off i was so anxious around christmas i went home and i felt nervous about what food i was going to eat i felt nervous about how i was going to go to the gym and exercise we were also in a lockdown i was doing like dumbbell workouts on like christmas eve i feel like i even did some on christmas day because i was so scared of like losing my progress but that is not how it works you will not lose progress if you take a week off like think about the amount of holidays people go on like that's not how it works think about the amount of time it's taking you to build up to the point where you're at i'm not going to lose that in one week of having a little bit more of a relaxed view on things also this time of year is literally so special these memories that you make with your parents and your grandparents and your cousins and your nephews and your nieces they literally come around once a year like christmas is so special and as sad as it sounds your grandparents and your parents and some of your family members aren't going to be around forever. So these memories that you make with them are core memories that you will remember forever. And being around those people is exactly what you will remember. You will not remember the amount of calories you ate in your Christmas dinner or whether you gained a pound or whether you gained two pounds after Christmas. Because ultimately those things do not matter in the grand scheme of things. And I think the really amazing thing about January is that January is always filled with loads of motivation. Everybody's really excited. And I'm not saying that in terms of like New Year, New Me, because I do not believe in that. But what I'm saying is that everybody kind of knows that january is a little bit quieter people kind of stop drinking everybody does dry jan and you have a little bit more time to dedicate to your fitness goals so just take a bit of a step back enjoy the relaxing time before you head into january where you will be a little bit more focused i have now got my dough i just need to lightly flour my surface and then get that rolled out is it bad to eat this we may have hit an issue in the form of not having a rolling pin and I might have to use a bottle of wine. Where would I put me if I was a rolling pin? I would just like to say before this portion of the video, I'm not proud of this. I'm not proud of the fact that I have a health and wellness channel and I'm currently rolling out Christmas cookies with a bottle of wine. I'm not, I'm not proud of it, but sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do to make Christmas cookies for your friends. So hopefully if any of you have been kind of struggling with guilt and things like that, it does sort of help. I think one thing as well is I personally exercise like all year round because I think I genuinely like, I love running. I know it sounds really stupid, but like I love running. I love what it does for my mental health. I love working out because it's good for my mental health. If you find that you are kind of like struggling to get into the gym and you're looking at your fitness plan, you're thinking like, oh, I really don't want to go in and do that today. Just go and do some like fun workouts. Like you, there's no pressure to go and do these like extreme workouts that you've been doing. Like I think one thing that I love doing sometimes if I'm not feeling motivated is just to go in and just do some movements that I really enjoy. Maybe try and hit some PBs, take a friend with you. I'm so excited when I go home next week, I get to go to the gym with my sister and I literally love training with her and i don't normally love training with anyone so that is a big compliment for you clara but just try and find some ways to almost make it a little bit more fun for yourself rather than kind of dragging yourself there with your feet stuck to the floor and not actually wanting to be there in the end because that's only going to build up a negative relationship with it and i think the best thing to do is just do things that you really enjoy maybe try out something new maybe go to a gym class but don't put the pressure on yourself is essentially what i'm saying like if you don't want to go the week over christmas and you don't feel like it fits into your social calendar it's a week like what is a week in the grand scheme of things i wish i was good at maths and i could do the maths and tell you what like percentage of your life that would be because trust me it is a very insignificant week in the grand scheme of things right i have got my dough i'm gonna use this 
There's eight of my friends, so as long as I can make eight cookies. These are quite intricate. I have to decorate them as well. I think like what I was referring to earlier and like turning this like really big point in my fitness journey is I feel like this year, and I spoke about this on my stories this morning. I'm gonna move the bottle of wine out of the way while I talk about this. <laughs> that is not giving off the right impression if you are new to my channel. The like turning point that I was referring to is that this year within my fitness journey, I really realized how un physical progress focus I've become in terms of like scale weight and appearance really means nil to me at the moment like it genuinely is the last thing on my mind and I feel like that has come from running and I don't know if anybody else runs and they'll be like oh, I completely understand what you mean because I think when I run I have such a gratitude and this sounds really silly but it's just how I feel I have this really big like gratitude for my body and whenever I'm running I think like wow it's so amazing that my body is able to do those distances and I think I've proved to myself that I'm so capable of doing things that I never thought I could do in terms of like running half marathons and now training for a marathon and I think I have found like a newfound respect for my body in that way and within that I now couldn't care less what I weigh like that is so unimportant to me. I've only really weighed myself recently in order to make sure I'm actually eating enough food to kind of fuel my runs. Whereas previously, even in the start of this year, before I started running, a lot of me weighing myself was to make sure that like I wasn't gaining weight or I was losing weight. And I just feel like I've just had such a big shift in that mentality. And it's honestly like the most refreshing thing and like even in terms of check-ins like i was saying in my stories earlier like if you follow me since day one you will remember i used to do my weekly check-ins religiously i would like literally revolve my whole week and my social occasions around this check-in because i couldn't go out for a meal the night before my check-in because that would make me gain water weight and then the scales would go up and then it would reflect on my progress and it would look like i was like losing progress like that was genuinely how i felt at the beginning of this year which is crazy to me because i now just feel so differently to that and i don't know a lot of people say that when you get to 25 you kind of have like quarter life realizations is it quarter life yeah like quarter life realizations hopefully it's not quarter life hopefully you know we're here till we're 100 but wait that is that would that would be a quarter life hopefully we're here till we're 150 is what i mean god i told you i'm not very good at math some people do say yeah when you get to like 25 you do have quite a lot of like realizations throughout the year and like what really is important to you really changes and like things like that so I don't know whether I've just got a lot wiser this year I do feel like my mentality towards like loads of things has changed like I've become so much more independent this year I've become so much more focused on things that truly are important to me like my friends my family I just feel like I've just changed a lot over the past like even like few months like this kind of last half of the year but like in a really positive way like I feel like my life is in a really really positive place at the moment and I feel like I'm literally turning 25 next week like in the best place I could possibly ask to be and with my mentality in the best place and it's crazy because I was around 15 when I had my eating disorder so 10 years later it's just so nice to look back and I just I'm not gonna cry I just wish that 15 year old me could like see what I've achieved now not even in terms of like lifestyle but just in terms of like mentality and I'm gonna stop now because I am gonna cry if I think about this too much I get so reflective towards the end of the year I do this every single year I feel like it's because my birthday and Christmas kind of comes in one I just suddenly get reflective over like everything like it's it's a good thing like I love to look back on my fitness journey and see how far I've come and I just feel like this year I'm like whoa like I feel like I've just made like leaps of bounds more so in the past few months but yeah, it's just crazy. Right, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cookies. And we've still got loads of dough, so we're gonna have double. Right, I'm just gonna make these. I'm gonna pop the first eight in the oven, let them cool, and then we can ice them because I feel like me kneading and cutting stars out of dough is not premium content. So I'll come back when these ones are cooked and cooled. I mean, where is the box? Because this is not an accurate representation of what I thought I was gonna get. I mean, this is B&M. I don't really know what I was expecting, but... <laughs> This is how you just know, like, I'm just not a baker. I have also tried to make up some food colouring. Um, we've got a green. Um, and then we've got some white. That's it. That's as far as it goes. I did also get bored of making the snowflake. So we have a big Christmas tree and then a big chocolate cookie coming. Honestly, the impulsive thoughts that were in my head that were like, just make a penis. Why is that, like, the first thing that comes to your head when you're baking cookies? Like, oh, just make a rude shape. Like, I was like, oh, just do a dick. Like, why? Why is that the first thing that comes into your brain? Not what I should be thinking about making 
phallical cookies at Christmas. I should be thinking about snowflakes and Christmas trees. That's the vibe of today's video. I actually can't go over the shape of these. So this is my little station here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just like dip. Oh no, how do I get out? Maybe if I dip it and then I add decorations because it will make it sticky. Oh, that looks so much better. Guys, I actually cannot tell you how excited I am for next year's content. Like, I hate to wish the year away, so I'm definitely not doing that, but I just feel like next year, I don't know, like this year was the first year that I ever went full time with social media. So I feel like a lot of this year really felt like I was like finding my feet with it. And to be honest, like I feel like now I've settled into a better routine. I feel a lot more like sure of myself and sure of my content and the kind of content that I want to create and like the direction I want to like kind of take with my platforms and I do, I really feel like at some point in the year and I know a lot of creators struggle with this and if you are like a social media content creator you'll probably know what I'm talking about I was like I really hit a massive stage of like burnout I just felt so like unsure of myself and my job and I think it's really common with social media and I'm not gonna lie I probably will experience it again also like it's common with everyday life like i'm sure so many of us like i feel like the majority of us on my channel are like similar age ranges so i'm sure we've all gone through those periods where we're like what what am i working towards here like what am i doing and i think if you are going through that or if you have been through that like one of the best things you can do is just be kind to yourself in that moment because the worst thing you can do that i tried to force myself to do was to find a purpose when you feel like you don't have one. I remember one day I sat down and I tried to create a mood board and I actually did it for a YouTube video. And the day before I did it, I sat down and I was like, right, I'll think of some things that I wanna put on it. Like, what, what are my goals? And I sat there and I was like, I don't even know what I want to do or what I want to achieve at the moment. And that's how like lost in that moment I felt. And like now, this is like a few months on, a lot has changed in my life, but I feel like I feel so driven. And like next year I have such a clear goal list of things that I want to achieve. And I think it's like, I feel a lot more settled in my job now. Like I feel like I have such an amazing community with you guys and with YouTube and like Instagram and TikTok and stuff. Like I feel so fortunate for that. Also these cookies, they're looking like my five-year-old, my five-year-old. <laughs> Sorry, my five-year-old made them. They're looking like a five-year-old made them. I was going to say it's a thought that counts, but I feel like my friends are just going to look at these and laugh. Like, nobody's going to eat any of these cookies. But anyway, the point of what I was saying was I'm so excited to bring you guys content next year. Like, I just feel like 2023 for all of us is going to be insane. And, like, one of my main goals next year is to literally help you guys smash your fitness goals and to give you all the motivation and information that you need to achieve that that is something that i'm really really focused on so i hope you guys are as excited for the new year like i said i'm not wishing away christmas because we have still got a lot of time to go i'm kind of scared to eat these i am going to show you the cookies now don't laugh because i'll be upset <laughs> These are my Christmas cookies that I made. There is only six and I have eight friends. Um, like I said, I don't think any of them are gonna want to eat these. So based off today's video <laughs> and the standard of the cookies, what I'm thinking is that maybe we make this a yearly thing and next year I'll come back and I'll remake cookies and hopefully every year the standard of the cookies will get better. And we can just have a chat about Christmas and reflect on the year and all those kind of things because I feel like these are my favorite types of videos. Like I just feel like I am very, very thankful for all of you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video. I will see you on Wednesday for a big announcement video. Like I said, don't forget about that. But because that's an announcement video, it won't be very Christmas orientated. However, I would like to take a moment and say have the best Christmas ever and I'll see you next week.